Hey guys, um, it's the weekend today and I wanted to film a clothing haul but instead of filming a separate haul I thought I would include everything um, in this vlog so I'll try everything and show you the pieces on me instead of like showing them to you like this um, yeah these clothes I got maybe like a month ago some of them some of them I bought recently in the current sales um, I went browsing a couple of days ago in the sales and I got three pieces I wanted something summery, but um, definitely something that I could wear all the time. So let's start with the haul. Um, the first thing is this top and uh, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you might have seen me in this top a lot because I wear it all the time now. I call it a cloud top because it honestly to me it looks like you're wearing a cloud. It's, did I say it's from Zara? It's from Mango actually. Uh, it has these um, stretchy sleeves and it also has a stretchy band here. You can wear it really high up just to cover your bra um, as a crop top or you can wear it longer as a regular top. I usually wear it like this from the Mango sale and I paid like 9 euros for it and I believe it comes in yellow as well but I wanted a white one. And then um, I'll show you a lot of uh, new things from Lindex because I've collaborated with them and uh, they let me choose the clothes that I wanted so I already shot lots of uh, pictures and posted on my Instagram in these clothes but I thought I would show you in video because I absolutely love every single thing like I'm so happy with my picks and uh, they're actually opening a Lindex shop in Klaipeda in Acropolis we used to have it years ago they shut it down and now they're reopening it so i was invited to the shop so i'm gonna definitely gonna go have a look and uh, maybe choose some new pieces of clothing to show you guys but yeah everything that i got i pretty much live in like i wear every piece almost on the daily basis so it's these uh, jeans they're absolutely incredible uh, the model is called hana and I have them in black, I'm gonna show you in a minute. I already talked about the black ones a lot on my social media. Uh, but yeah, this is a white pair and they're high-waisted jeans. It's a really nice sort of thick denim, but they're sort of uh, wide fit jeans. And these ones are cropped, but to me they don't look that cropped. I'm gonna stand up on a chair. You can see they sort of look like normal length jeans, maybe like ankle length jeans, because I'm one uh, meter 65, I'm 5'5". Five five. So yeah, it's a perfect length for me. And I just love that they have this sort of vintage uh, 90s feel to them. It's such a flattering fit, I feel like, and I'm so over skinny jeans and I just like uh, this type of jeans so much and yeah as I said they're high-waisted that's the bum so they're super super comfortable I mean they're they're just fantastic I love them so much so yeah these are called Hana and as I said I have them in this black color but this is sort of washed black and these are longer I got them in um, European size 36 uh, and yeah, you can see the model. It says Hana here. Maybe you can see the color like this a little bit better. Um, yeah, so these are really long, like they're full length jeans and they sort of touch the round, but I really like this look. I love that they're long, but not too long. Like I don't need to alter them. They're the perfect length. And I wear these so much, like all the time. Uh, they're pretty much all of my pictures. I have never owned a better pair of jeans like these two I wish they came in blue and I believe Actually, you know what? I believe they're coming out with a blue uh, color because I saw them in the Lindex coming soon section uh, the Blue ones, but they sold out so quickly like you were not able to buy these online the black and the white but my cousin Linda managed to uh, get herself a black pair 
uh, in Vilnius in the actual boutique. So maybe go to the actual Lindex shop if you want these jeans. But yeah, they're so incredible. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the black ones on uh, now. And I always wear them with this H um, and M men's belt because I wore these ones so much. They're like softer now in comparison to the white ones. Oh my god, I just feel like I'm not wearing anything. They're that comfortable. It feels like wearing your PJs. And yeah, I don't know these. I feel like these are a different material, uh, they're more like squishy and cottony. So um, then I'm go back so you can see, yeah you can, I don't know if you guys can see the bottom, but they, they touch the floor, but I just, I love that look and uh, yeah, they're the nicest jeans I have ever owned, hands down. Their perfection. So uh, yeah, definitely go to Lindex to have a little look. Then another pair of jeans I got. These are actually from Zara, but I got them a while ago, so I'm not sure if they're still available. Um, if you guys remember, I did a shoe haul and I showed these um, thong kitten heels in brown and black. So I got these jeans at the same time as these kitten heels. Um, this is out of topic. You might remember I mentioned that the black um, thong sandal uh, broke, so I just ordered a new pair in uh, the current Zara sale for like half the price, 20 euros. Because I love those shoes, so I don't have them here in this haul to show you, but you'll definitely see them in my Instagram posts. Um, and yeah, I got these jeans at the same time and I love them as well. They're pretty much the exact same model. They are so so similar. I love this blue for denim. They kind of look like vintage Levi's jeans. Um, I got them in uh, European 36 and they're high-waisted as well so I'm gonna put them on now. Okay so this is what they look like. I love them as well and as I said I'm just really into this uh, style of jeans and these are my three favorite pairs of jeans that I own. I really like these sort of poofed out um, Bershka jeans that I own. These are the ones I'm talking about. Pretty sure they don't have these anymore in Bershka, but I have these in black, in cream, and in this color. Uh, but they're sort of like balloon style jeans. They're stunning. I live in them as well because they're comfy, high-waisted, a gorgeous shape. Um, so those Bershka ones and these three jeans are like my, my favorite thing to wear basically. I'm such a jeans girl, I feel like. Um, these are really thick so they're not as comfortable for sitting down. So next up, uh, recently in Zara I got two tops. So I got this one, same day when I got this poofy one. This one is just so pretty, so feminine and romantic and flowy. Um, it's the sort of pale yellow color and it has little, I don't know, like little flecks. And um, yeah, it's just like a summery, girly, pretty top. And I would wear it with all of these jeans. Um, oh my god, it smells so good. I had a perfume sample in the bag. So it smells incredible. Oh. Um, yeah, so this one in the sale was 16 euros. I got it in an extra small because it's like a sort of big poofy top anyway. And then I got, I'm gonna try it on in a minute. Then I got this one, um, which is like a super basic cropped tank top. I got it to wear under my big uh, men's blazers. Okay, so this is the flowy top and I just have, um, because it's so sheer and transparent, I just have this nude sort of um, basic bra from H&M underneath it. Um, and yeah, I love it. Um, I feel like with flip-flops this is such a nice um, summery outfit. This is the tank top, I haven't taken the bra off. Um, but I would wear it braless, but I just can't be bothered right now, so yeah, that's the time. It's just basic, exactly what I needed. 
as I said, to go under my big jacket like this. Um, and this one, I believe it comes in black as well. It was four euros. I like the, the shape of this one. Okay, next up we have this cardigan from Lindex. It's got a v-neck and I just really like this knit. It's quite sheer and has these um, frills on the bottom and on the sleeves as well. I just, yeah, I think it's so romantic and cute. And uh, they now are coming out with a black one. And um, I would love a black one as well because I feel like I'll wear it a lot. Looks great with jeans, like some flip flops or uh, some sneakers. Um, so yeah, I love it. It's a really cute little knit. Um, and I got it in size small. And it's also sustainable choice. This one and the jeans are all uh, sustainable. Then I got this simple black fitted top from Stradivarius. Um, this is the material, it's ribbed, uh, again has these little frills, um, but what I loved about it is this ruching in the middle of the top. Um, and it has a slightly higher neck. Yeah, I just love this ruching and I believe it came in cream. Um, this is the one I really wanted to get, but they didn't have my size. Um, so I got a black one instead and I got it in size small. So this is just... Again, a simple, great top to wear with anything as a basic under something or just on its own with jeans like this. Um, I don't know, I really like it. I feel like this ruching adds a little spice to the top. Okay guys, two more things from Lindex. You will have seen this robe uh, from the vlog where I had um, a sunset walk on the beach. Um, it's absolutely stunning. I love this robe so much. It's um, I'm not sure. It's not silk. I believe it is polyester, but it feels really nice like it's lovely quality It feels like satin and I actually love that the sleeves are three-quarter length I feel like it's more practical when you're in the kitchen or doing your skincare uh, The sleeves don't get wet. So that's a big bonus for me and uh, yeah, it's actually a maxi row it's pretty long and I just feel like it's so elegant and so beautiful so um, it's one of my favorite things to wear in summer and then the other thing so it's from Lindex this one um, as well as this little slip um, so again it's a maxi uh, maxi nightgown has a little slit here and uh, it's got a little bit of lace and then this is the back. I would actually wear it as a beach dress, which is like a summer dress for summer evenings with a chunky cardigan to sort of um, tone it down maybe a little bit because on its own it can be like too much. I mean, it's a nightgown. I would put a chunky cardigan on. This is an old H&M cardigan, but like any um, chunky cardigan would look super cute. Again, just like some flip flops. Uh, this nightgown, a cardi, and uh, like a beach bag. That's actually not it. That's not everything from Lindex. I got some lingerie. So when we had Lindex uh, shop in Klaipeda, I used to always buy my lingerie there because they have really pretty, um, yeah, like pretty cute and super comfortable sets. So I got these bottoms. And then I got... A really uh, special set in nude color it's all lacy so floral lacy thongs so so beautiful they have this set in black as well um, I mean look at that it's so intricate I love this floral embroidery so under like lightweight summery dresses this would look so gorgeous I'm obsessed I have this sports set that was gifted to me uh, from a brand called La Piel. And uh, yeah, it's a nude sports set. So these are the leggings, they're ribbed. These are so comfortable, so figure-hugging, flattering. I mean, I love everything about this set. 
So I'm gonna put it on for you guys. And then this is the bra. And they have lots of different colors, these beautiful pastel shades. So I'm obsessed with this brand for sportswear now. Like if I'm ever gonna need anything for working out, uh, I'll go to this brand. And uh, yeah, the bra is super comfortable. I actually wear it um, out in the city with a jacket, my high-waisted jeans, this as a top, and then like a men's shirt or jacket on top. So this is the workout set. Uh, that's the bra. I mean, I'm in love with it. It's funny I'm wearing a workout set and I haven't worked out in ages except for biking. But actually today I'm going wakeboarding, so... <laughs> I gotta go now because my girlfriends will be arriving in like half an hour. We will celebrate my birthday two days early um, because my actual birthday this year is on Monday, which is not cool. <laughs> and um, yeah, we're going wakeboarding and then we'll have a picnic on the beach and basically just have lots of fun the whole day. Um, yeah. It's super sunny and super warm today. I'm gonna show you the cake that I got. Um, I got it from Hey de Kruk Bakery. They have the best pistachio cakes ever, but they're always sold out because uh, the pistachio ones are their best cakes. So I got this one, it's green tea, um, crispy cookies, black currants, and blueberries. I don't like this decoration, but the cake itself, I think is gonna be really, really tasty. I'm trying not to ruin it. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this vlog. I'm not gonna vlog my actual birthday, just because I wanna have a no phone day. Vlogging and taking pictures is work for me, so I don't wanna work on my birthday, and uh, I'll tell the girls not to use their phones as well. I think we'll just collect the phones and not use them and take the pictures with my film camera just picked up my film that was developed but i've noticed that they missed a few pictures they didn't send me all of them so i'm a little annoyed and the shop just closed so i'll have to go back and ask for the few remaining pictures and then i got some extra film but i got a different uh one this time so i'm gonna use these for my birthday um because yeah we'll have lots of fun with the girls and i want to shoot lots of film pictures <laughs> Hey guys, it's Thursday today and I decided to vlog. I actually have an idea to start doing weekly vlogs. What do you guys think about it? Would you enjoy watching weekly vlogs? So I would vlog um, any day throughout the week, probably not every day, but whenever I feel like I have something to share, something interesting to talk about. Um, and yeah, just combine little bits into one vlog and post weekly. Um, yeah, I think I would enjoy that. Let me know if you would like to see that. Uh, I'm not sure why I put the stickiest lip gloss in the world on my lips. Um, knowing I'll have to wear a mask. This is Lancome Juicy Tube. And since Monday, we're required to wear masks again. Indoors, not outside, but like... Uh, Anyway, like shops and things, you have to wear a mask now. Back to mask life and it's super hot today. It's 26 degrees, incredibly beautiful weather. Just arrived, I'm gonna go to Retro Bookshop 
yesterday i went there and i got um this book by haruki murakami called dance 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 and i asked on my insta stories um what are some murakami books you guys really enjoyed and would recommend so the top three recommendations from you guys were uh, norwegian wood Winda Bird Chronicles and Kafka on the Shore, which is another book that I own, um, but I haven't read it yet. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I feel like this is an author I might enjoy. I have a feeling like I read the blurb and it seems really interesting to me. And I got so many messages, like it's insane. I feel like this is the most well-loved um author amongst my subscribers i don't know i just have a feeling because you guys recommended so many books by him and he really praised the author so i'm gonna give him a go and i saw a few more murakami books in that secondhand retro bookshop that i go to uh so yeah uh i really want to get norwegian would because that was a number one like it was so so highly recommended i just want to do some more reading and um my plan is to read four books a month i actually created a highlight on my instagram called books so check it out it's gonna be about the books i'm currently reading the books i've finished with my thoughts on them and i'm gonna be posting four books every month that i'm gonna be reading so the first book i'm reading this month is lani and i'm not doing well at all with this one um i've read only 20 pages so far and it's the 6th of august i just find this really difficult to get into it makes no sense so far i don't know i really hope it's gonna get better because i don't want to drop it um it's a book that got so much praise i mean look all of the praise is on the cover um and it's a pretty small book so hopefully i'll get through it um yeah so this is my way of motivating and forcing myself to read more because i have so many books and it's all about making the time and prioritizing reading instead of like doing things because i always my excuse is always like i don't find the time to read although my reading list is so massive and you just have to make time um because Otherwise, you're not going to have time for anything. I got another Murakami hunting a wild sheep. This was another book that you guys really liked um so yeah gonna give it a go i'm gonna go to ikea now because i want to order a bookshelf for my apartment let's go to ikea to get my bookshelf kind of want to get this one love this one I love the color of wood on this one, but I want an open um, bookshelf no glass so i'm thinking of this one so guys i'm in my apartment and i want to show you what i got in ikea I actually ordered um, that wide bookshelf because I loved it and I think it will look really nice in my apartment. It's that sort of creamy white color. So now let me show you what else I got. You know how it is with IKEA, even if you don't need anything, 
you end up buying stuff and they just started selling little things in our IKEA the biggest IKEA is in our capital in Vilnius and in Klaipeda you were not able to buy anything you had to go to the shop and order everything but now they made some of the like little things uh, available to purchase so I got two cushions um, 50 on 50 centimeter and then I got two cushion covers for them they're just like simple white um, but I love the texture yeah 100% cotton so um, I got these to go on my sofa because I'm gonna show you the ones that I have so I have these two and like the cover doesn't look pretty anymore like I absolutely love it it's from a thousand stories I'm not sure these are handmade in Morocco I'm not sure if the store uh, still exists but I basically need to use fabric shaver to shave these because I mean I do love them but like they need a little TLC <laughs> I don't know let's try to put one on And they had these in different colors, like they had um, baby pink. You know what, I don't know, these might actually even go on my bed. Um, just when I'm like watching movies and things in my bed to have on my back. Oh my god, I love it looks so nice it's exactly what I wanted just like a simple um, crisp white cushion so then I got a set of hangers um, so in this set you get eight and I got these for my coats like to go in um, in the wardrobe at the entrance this was the first thing I noticed when I entered uh, Ikea it's just a bamboo tray for your sofa so when I'm having my tea or coffee and I'm sitting on my sofa and I don't want to spill it on the sofa you basically just put this on like the arm of the sofa and then you can put your tea or coffee on here so it's like a yeah like a bamboo tray I guess and uh, yeah it folds like this so you can store it but I just thought it's something that's gonna be really useful to have they have a little food section so I saw these ones uh, sour jellies with rhubarb lemon or lime flavor and I was like oh my god this sounds right up my street so I got two packs of those and I just really like the look of these cookies biscuits with chocolate flavored filling so yeah that's everything and yeah as I said um, can't wait for the shelf to arrive so that I could um, store and organize all of my books I'm gonna bring all of my books from the room in my parents home to my apartment and have all of them here and then um, yeah you guys saw um, I showed that little bedside table thingy the wooden one I just thought it's so beautiful so I'm really really tempted to get it as well and you might have noticed this little Zara bag I actually reordered these shoes that I talked about you guys might remember from the shoe haul these thong sandals with a kitten heel because I just think they're gorgeous and I told you um, the previous pair just snapped and I actually messaged my friend Auxa and uh, I said you know what I actually repurchased these and she said return them because she said she got them as well and they also snapped for her and she said that these shoes gave her super bad blisters so yeah I'm probably not keeping these 
uh, although they were discounted and I only paid $22.95 so half the price to me they're gorgeous like I really want to choose like this but she said they will snap and they're also super uncomfy and then in Zara I got some basics um, I have this tank top already it's just like a cropped ribbed uh, white tank top and I love it so so much that I actually went and got another white one and um, this blue one I love the shade of blue like it's so gorgeous it's sort of a powdery blue I think it looks really nice with this blue shirt or like a different shade of blue cardigan yeah I don't know I love it they're just like super useful tanks to have and these are 3 euros 95 cents then I already showed you guys the books that I got I got two vintage Murakamis both in Lithuanian and then um, my cousin Dev, actually it was my birthday this weekend and it was the nicest birthday celebration ever. I celebrated it two days early because my birthday was Monday and we celebrated on Saturday with my friends. Unfortunately, like two of my best friends, Gabriela and Auxa, couldn't attend because one is in China and another one is in France. But nonetheless, it was a group of us girls and we went wakeboarding. It was my second time uh, trying wakeboarding um, and I'm able to do it on my knees with a knee board but I'm still not able to stand on the actual board that we have to stand on. So anyway, yeah, we were waking for two hours after we were so, so hungry after such a good workout we went to the beach and uh, we sat in the dunes it was already evening like maybe 9 p.m i want to say so yeah we sat in the sand dunes there were no people around and we had picnic because we had this basket full of snacks um we had a little barbecue and we had hot dogs so Kristina and i were responsible for um, grilling <laughs> the sausages and it was a bit of a struggle I have to say but at the end we did it and um, yeah we ate lots of food we chatted uh, we watched the sunset and um, it was completely dark when we left um, and then we came back to mine like to my parents home we watched a movie actually all of the girls fell asleep I was the only one watching the movie um, yeah, so they stayed for a sleepover and then the next day we all had breakfast so it was just like such a lovely birthday celebration and then the next day on Sunday I went biking with my parents my new bike we actually went from parents home to Klaipeda uh, the old town we went to Hof which is like a, this new super cool place in in the city. We had some beer and then we biked home. So we made 35 kilometers in total. And uh, it was just like a beautiful warm day. So the weekend was incredible. And then on Monday I had family, my cousin Daiva, uh, my auntie come over um to continue celebrating because it was the actual day of my birthday so we had another barbecue evening and yeah it was super nice i mean my 29th birthday i'll probably remember for years to come it was amazing oh by the way i'm gonna show you what the girls got me so i mentioned to them that i want a photo album because i love shooting on film now and uh, I'm gonna print some of my favorite pictures. So they got me this beautiful sort of linen-y uh, photo album. When you open it up, it has a quote by Dr. Seuss. It says, don't cry uh, that it's over, smile that it happened. And uh, yeah, it says from Linda, Patricia, Gabriela, Cristina. This album is for your magical memories. And they actually printed lots of pictures where I'm with all of the girls. Um, yeah, this is me and Linda um, at Ed Sheeran's concert. Gabriela and I in Copenhagen, my 28th birthday. Um, yeah, look at that. This is Gabriela and I in Latvia at a festival on the beach in Schwantoy with Dorian. Linda and I swimming. Christina and I with Dorian. This is us um, as teenagers. Oh my god. This is so cringy. Gabriela, me and Christina. 
This is all of us in Copenhagen in clay powder. So yeah, I'm gonna keep filling uh, this album with the pictures with that girl. So it's gonna be like a friendship album with all of my best friends. And yeah, this is such a special present. And they also got me tickets to the concert of Jazu, who's one of my favorite Lithuanian singers. I'm going tomorrow and I'm taking my mom with me because she loves her music as well. And I was like, let's go together. So I'm really excited and looking forward to her concert tomorrow. Enough of rambling. Actually, tomorrow morning I'll show you guys what I got from my cousin Daiva and my auntie because they told me to buy something that I wanted and I did, so I'll show you tomorrow. Morning, guys. Um, so I'm about to have my breakfast. I just went out to pick up some blueberries for it. Uh, yesterday, I also told you I would show you uh, the present from my cousin Daiva. So, um, these are the blueberries. Okay, so I mentioned that my cousin Daiva and my aunt told me to get whatever I wanted. I really wanted to get myself a set for making matcha latte because that's what I always have in till to 10 um, coffee shop. Like they make really nice matcha latte there. So I thought I would get myself a set to make at home. So I got matcha tea that's in here. Uh, so it's gonna be my first attempt doing it now on camera. I got a bamboo whisk. The proper name for it is Chasen. Um, but yeah, that's the whisk. Then a little bamboo scoop for the tea. This one is called Chashaku. Um, and then a bowl. There are so many beautiful bowls for matcha. And uh, yeah, I chose this green one. I think it's gorgeous. It says made in Japan on the bottom. Um, so the bowl is called Chawan. Um, and yeah, that's everything. Oh, I also got another Murakami book, Norwegian Wood, the one you guys recommended the most. And I got this one in English. So I now have four Murakami books, uh, which I think will be a good start and um, a test for me to see if I like the author or not. This is like a little Japanese gift for my birthday. Um, so yeah, let's open the tea now. And I got some coconut milk because in the coffee shop that I go to, they make it with coconut milk and the girl said it tastes a lot better than having it with plain milk. I'm not sure if this one will froth nicely, but let's try it. The first thing you have to do is pour some hot water in the bowl, a little bit more, and then put the whisk in so that the bristles um, of the bamboo soften. I watch so many different tutorials of matcha making and um, they're all similar but a little bit different. Um, I'm not gonna use a strainer because I just watched a Japanese woman make matcha and she didn't use a strainer, um, although a lot of people do, so I don't know. Let's try it without a strainer first. I think it's fine now. Yeah, they actually did get softer. So I'm gonna pour out the water, clean the bowl. Oh, it's really hot now. Um, so I guess that will help keep the latte hot. So now I'm gonna add two scoops of the actual tea in here. This is what it looks like. I poured it out of the plastic bag. Okay, now you have to pour a little bit of hot water and whisk it. Okay. 
Okay, this is what it looks like. I don't know, it looks fine to me. So let's add the coconut milk now. The froth isn't that nice. It's not a very stiff version of coconut milk. Um, and then I think you're supposed to add one scoop of sugar. It doesn't look good at all. I mean, this looks nothing like matcha latte. It looks kind of like matcha tea instead. Uh, so I'm gonna get a barista version of oat milk. The one that froths nicely and is thicker. This uh, coconut milk is just like super watery. Okay. It doesn't taste bad. But it doesn't taste very good either. It sort of tastes like green tea. Um, not cream enough. So I'm gonna keep on practicing until I learn how to do it properly. But this is my first attempt at matcha latte. doesn't look that good. I really don't like coconut milk in my coffee. I'm all about almond or a nice thick oat milk. So that's gonna be my breakfast today. Like always. <laughs> Wait a sec, I'm gonna grab Louis. Here he is. A little fatso. <laughs> Louis. No. No shit. Dorian is running outside, so I'm gonna take my breakfast and go eat it outside in the sunshine because it's such a gorgeous sunny day. got herself the exact same one just a slightly different color and my brother is fixing things now <laughs> these two are best friends <laughs> they're so cute <laughs> just arrived to pick up my film which was actually developed yesterday I got a message but yesterday it was too late already to go pick it up Sunday today and I didn't really vlog today because we just had a family Sunday we had lasagna my brother was over and now it's a little after 9 p.m. and I'm actually biking to the beach on my own to watch the sunset the sunset is in five minutes even less than that I think so I'm not sure if I'll make it but anyway just wanted to go to the beach should have gone earlier but I wasn't sure if I should or not I was just sitting in the garden we had such a beautiful super hot day today so i was in the garden reading my book and uh, i'm gonna talk about that book a little bit later uh, but yeah Whew, getting out of breath um it's quite chilly but as i'm biking i'm not really cold
so yeah the sun has set already but it's still so beautiful we actually got a warning about an hour ago not to swim in the sea in two beaches of Karkla and Girole. This is Karkla's beach um, because there was a leakage of diesel. So they're currently cleaning the water and it's just so, it's so upsetting. 2020 is like a year full of surprises. A couple of days ago there was um, an explosion in Beirut. Then yesterday I think I saw the news of the leakage of oil from a Japanese ship and then the same thing is happening um, in Klaipeda today. So it's just what else will happen by the end of the year. It's crazy. So yeah, and I really wanted to go swimming. We're having such a stunning week. And yeah, I also wanted to make a photo shoot in the water, which is not gonna happen here unless I go to another beach. Look at these colors. I wish I took Dorian with me, but my brother is over with his dog. So they're just playing together. So I, yeah. That's why I didn't take him, but I think I will come here tomorrow and take Dorian with me. Maybe super early in the morning, but the evenings here on the beach are incredible. Like everyone comes out to chill, to watch the sunset, play with their dogs and their kids. And it's just like such a peaceful atmosphere. I want to give you guys an update on the book that I'm reading, Lani. I think the last time I talked about it, I was 20 pages in. I'm now 112 pages in, I'm halfway through the book and oh my god, what a... I don't even know what's the word to describe it. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna use a quote from someone uh, who left a comment on Goodreads on this book. So everyone really, really praises this book, I mean, it's covered in positive comments like it's really well received there was this comment on goodreads along the lines this is definitely a very unique book but it hurts my brain and it's exactly my thoughts on it it actually hurts my brain reading it i think about 50 pages were a complete torture to me then the other 50 pages were somewhat okay uh, but then i started chapter uh, number two or like th the second part of the book like this and it's making no sense at all uh, I mean I'm gonna show you some of the writing in it um, okay like this it's not all like this of course but like and this is where I'm at this is the way it's written it's it's really hard to read i feel like it's a jumble of thoughts and sentences and words and uh yeah a lot of the times it's not making any sense and it's just honestly hurts my brain so i'm not enjoying it at all there were like a couple enjoyable parts i would say but for the majority i'm not enjoying this book and i wanted to drop it but yeah i'm gonna finish it just just because um i want to commit it and finish it but i would not recommend this book personally it's not to my taste at all probably a lot of people would actually like it because of how positive the reviews are but to me it's it's one of those books i dread reading I might read a little bit here and then bike home before it gets completely dark Thank <laughs> you. 